Brody Van GM of the Mets. Yeah. He said that Tebow has a chance to crack the opening day roster. Um, yep. I don't know. I I heard that. I read that Brody used to be Tebow's GM or be Tebow's agent. Do you know that? Have yeah. you seen that? It, he did? Yep. Like, this is so... What a fucking circus the Mets invited into their building when yes. they should be doing the complete opposite. Start Tebow. I will say this, Jake. If Tebow is on the Mets, I will tune in for every at-bat. Right. It'll be almost like Bartolo Colon status. Or like, I just need to watch this at-bat because it's going to be so interesting. Yeah, I wonder... I I think if he if they actually played him in the major leagues, I just had a... <laughs> Just laughed because I brought up Tebow's baseball reference and it said he was born in the Philippines, which I know, but it just <laughs> caught me by surprise. Um, his numbers in Double A weren't terrible last year, but he's six years older on average than competition, um, and his numbers weren't great either. So I don't know, man. I just think yes, uh, it would be entertainment, absolutely. But at the same time, we're baseball guys, and I think you're you're basically. <laughs> You're looking at your minor league prospects and giving them the middle finger. Um, yeah, man. That's well, I mean, tough look at me. this. Look at this. Uh, uh, fall ball five three eight OPS. <laughs> um, a plus ball six sixty four. Uh, single A six forty eight. Double A seven thirty four. So, I mean, the OPS just gets better with every league. He just rises to the talent. You throw him in the MLB, he'll be at 800 OPS. No problem. No questions asked. Seems like a no-brainer. I, I don't know. It's like outside perspective would be cool. Let's see it, Mets. Show, show us your dick. But Is there any Mets fan that's rooting for Tebow to like crack the roster and like be doing what he's been doing? Anarchists, which are probably most Mets fans, right? I don't think I think Mets fans hate this. You you have to hate this if you're actual a, Mets fans. Yeah, yes. yeah, actual Mets fans. Yeah, um, yeah, that's <laughs> it's tough. Good. Even good. saying that, why would you say that? Why don't you dance around that question? Like, <laughs> start the year in AAA. No one has qualms with that. It, 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 actually, nothing, people. Nobody tells Brody Van Wagen what to say, Jim. Jesus. And then another baseball news. Uh, the Yankees re-signed CC Sabathia, which we're not going to go into detail here because we're recording Talking Yanks tonight, which we're going into great detail. But we're both happy about it. I'm happy about it. Yeah. The big man. Just wants to win, baby. Wants finishes like year that. in pinstripes. Love that. Cheap deal. I'm not going to inhibit the future at all. Cheap veal. Tebow, though. What are the Mets going to do, man? What are the, what's the Mets offseason plan? I have no idea. I, I I don't know, man. It I I don't know why I, the Mets are supposedly a big market team and baseball free agency has been messed up now for a while. It feels like the Mets could pick up like decent free agents. I mean, there was times last year when their lineup looked horrendous. Um and they came into last year with like the all non athletic team like they just had these kind of bulky guys that kind of hit and play baseball and then it fell apart um after that didn't they have an eight and one start and everyone was like the Mets have it figured out Todd Frazier said it was the best team he's ever been on everyone uh, they were like eight and one yeah so I don't know like it, we're we're in this time where veteran free agents get signed to one-year deals for cheap why not get some of the good ones? Bring in Daniel Murphy to play some first base or bring in Neil Walker to, to try to put a season together, some outfield. I I don't know. You, you're you're wasting this this pitching, and the pitching isn't that special. Like, the starters are good. Your bullpen's been atrocious, and your hitting's been atrocious. So, I don't know. Be less Mets. Be less Mets. Be less Mets. I don't wish this or want it to happen, but DeGrom gets hurt in spring training. Be funny. No. They're it's pitching. really sad. I mean, their pitching is like they've been like, we're going to have the pitching. We're going to have the pitching. And then they once a year, one of them gets hurt. So be sad for baseball because DeGrom's awesome. Yeah. 